The Johnson County residents say they won't let this storm cleanup that they're dealing with stop them from celebrating Independence Day here and today. And still as Fox 59's Kaylee Schuyler saw it today, not much seems to have changed since a tornado to tore through the area about a week ago. Each way you turn in the Golden Grove neighborhood, you can see signs of where a tornado destroyed parts of Johnson County. There was just a con constant uh, buzz of chainsaws all around and uh, uh, then, you know, all the trucks coming through and, and hauling stuff away. Even with neighbors working hours every day since the storm, the neighborhood is still filled with debris. The house back over here is probably going to be totaled uh, more than likely. The house on the corner over here, uh, they've already rebuilt a little bit up there, but, mm -hmm. but they've got so much damage inside, it's probably going to cost... Oh, probably three hundred thousand dollars. The intersection of Travis and Mullenix Road looked like this just one week ago. Now, Rick Payne says they paid around ten thousand dollars to remove trees. Uh, the last week has been uh, hectic to say the least. A lot of people coming in and out helping, but um, just trying to get the brush cleaned up and the trees cleaned up, and there was just so much debris everywhere. Despite the cleanup efforts that remain around the county, many are still making time to celebrate the Fourth of July. The fact is uh, one of the neighbors is having a uh, get together today at 3.30 just for everybody to get together and have some hot dogs and hamburgers and, mm -hmm. and uh, just take a deep breath. We're going to uh, celebrate a little bit. You know, we've been out in the yard already today. Despite everything that has happened, the community continuously shows resiliency. You get up every day and you move forward. Uh, tomorrow we'll get out with our chainsaws again and start cutting more wood. In Greenwood, Kaylee Schuyler, Fox 59 News.